Hey guys, one more time on the video on the inside Spurs. Now, happy Wednesday evening. I hope we're all okay. I hope we're all right. I hope the day has treated you as well as it possibly could have treated you. In this video, though, we're talking about Rafinha and his want to stay at Barcelona and what that maybe means for Spurs' activity this window. We talk about Jamie Donnelly and interest in, well, in him from other clubs. We'll talk about the deal, what that may look like. Um, and we're we'll also be talking about the Emerson Ronaldo because that has got some legs to it so plenty to work plenty to get into just want to say that if you're new and watching this subscribe you're very much welcome to join the journey and a heads up i did release a video probably about an hour ago from when i recorded this and from when you see it's about an hour and a half ago it is the fancy football league update it's there it's go and watch it and um yeah, you'll come and join the league. Be really appreciative if you do. So let's jump in. Let's talk some football transfer news. So for Richard Romano talking about Rafinha saying that Inter Milan's have approached again Rafinha this week to understand his availability to the Saudi Pro League move in August. The answer was clear again. Rafinha wants to stay at Barca. It's his priority. I think if we take that on face value. Obviously, I know it's not mentioned that we're in there, but obviously we've been mentioned to being in with Rafinha for a long time, even before he moved to um, Barca. If this is the case, and what we're taking in pre-season is kind of the the, the stuff we should take in from this, that you know, Kulisevsky is going to be potentially a more of a central player, you know, either in midfield or even a false nine, then Spurs were going for a winger. They'll use Richarlison, Kulisevsky, and Youngster as a striker. Then, obviously, you've only got Johnson and Mikey Moore on the right wing. You're probably going to want to stick another right winger out there. If that's the case, would it be a ridiculous guess for it to be a Neto? That's kind of where my thinking is right now, that it'd be a Neto. And in reality, I don't have anyone else on there. You know, it looks like it's not going to be Chiesa. Is it a Marcus Edwards? That would be underwhelming for a lot of people. So I do think it's Neto. That's my guess. I could be obviously wrong. And look, if I'm wrong, I'll put my hands up. But that's kind of my guess at the moment. Moving over to Emerson Real. So Daniele Longo put this out at 9.54 this morning. I forgot. To, I didn't talk about it because obviously I was doing the watch long for the game earlier. He said... Um, as reported by Calcio Mercato, only one million is at stake between Milan and Tottenham for Emerson Real. It can be closed today. So, that, let's take that on face value. As we always do with all these things, it's getting closer. And yes, I know he played, what, nearly 70? Or he played 70 minutes there, I think he did. I don't really think there's much in that to say that he wasn't going to be moving on. Um, I think that was more on... Ashley Phillips wasn't, obviously... Um, wasn't fixed obviously he had picked up a knock and that was Dragusian's first game and you're playing in sort of like I mean it was 28 degrees I think at the time when I checked on the watch long for Seoul which obviously means on the pitch it's going to be a hotter it's going to be in the 30s it's just a lot to take in on your first game obviously Phillips should probably be back for the second game you still got Ben Davies as well for centre back I think that was probably Emerson's last game for Spurs in my opinion that's my guess that is my guess um, talking about Jamie Donnelly, and by the way, can I just say on Jamie Donnelly, I thought he was fantastic today. The positioning that he takes in that adverted fullback, he finds himself in and behind the defence so often and pockets his space. It was it, He was fantastic. Him and Sonny worked really well together. So Alistair Gold saying that a queue of championship and League One clubs are waiting to see what de decision Ange Postacoglu makes on Jamie Donnelly's immediate future and whether the youngster will go out on loan to continue his development or re remain around the first team squad for the months ahead. And my general view on this one is, if I'm honest, keep him. Keep him around the first team. He's been brilliant. I think people talk about... Um, they talk about uh, Bergval, they talk about Archie Gray, you know, they talk about Mikey Moore. I actually think Jamie Donnelly's probably been better than a few of those play, play pool. I think Jamie Donnelly's probably been one of our best players in preseason, if I'm honest. And I've been really on that. I've not deferred away from that. That's genuinely my view. And I said all after that Hearts game, I was like, Jamie Donnelly's not bad at left back. And then it confirmed it against QPR. I was like, yeah, no, he's pretty good. And every game's gone on. I've been like, yeah, no, he's pretty good there. This can potentially work. Now, I don't think it's something that I want to put all my eggs in that basket of working, but I haven't been shown that it doesn't work. Yes, maybe today defensively, he probably could have been a bit better, but 
I'm not going to shoot him. He's he's a guy playing out of position. He's a young guy. And now, if it, you know, he said in it, uh, in in quotes saying that you know he's happy to play anyway. He's, he wants to learn other positions so it gives him more versatility. Archie Gray said the same thing. I, I've liked what I've seen with with Jamie Donnelly. I hope he doesn't go out on loan. I hope he does get used in the first team. You know, I hope him Bergvall maybe a Lancashire for the striker. By the looks of things, it will be Lancashire of all the youngsters we've got. Who's going to do that? Mikey Moore. You know, a lot of youngsters coming through there, which is really exciting. Really exciting. So we'll see on Donnelly, uh, but we'll we'll keep an eye on that. Well, that'll be, I think, we'll probably see towards middle of August a lot of loan deals for youngsters starting to take place, if I'm honest, once the season starts up and running. And I think Tyrese Hall might be one of those lo- young, young loaned-out youngsters. I thought he'd have been around the first-team squad, but he's not featured in the last two games, and I think he's going out on loan personally. We'll see. Anyway, guys, then if you don't, hope you didn't drop, drop, drop a like on the video. If you did, hit me in the comments section down below. Your thoughts and feelings about Jamie Donnelly. Your thoughts and feelings about Rafinha. Your thoughts and feelings about Emerson. All that stuff. Obviously, subscribe to the channel. And also, go check out the F- Fantasy Football League uh, video. Come join us. And obviously, hit the bell notification for more. But anyway, guys, then if you do, I will see you all very, very soon. Take care, guys.